really have to uh, put the pump and uh, put find the right place for to put uh, the lead hook. And uh, yeah, after that there is nothing for us to do. Söder Kulan Kartalo. There is the hair board of Söder Kula. Söder Kula is this area. You can do nothing for the fact that you was here already before the story starts, so it's not my <coughs> fault. <laughs> it only happened to me. Yeah, we are coming to Matta's house, our good neighbor from before. Yeah, they have all this kind of strange game in that time, 1940s, 50s, up to beginning of 60s. <laughs> the boys who live here, if you live here in the countryside, you have with your friends, you have wanking competition and who can shoot furthest. So he win. And, and Matta always win from here. He said. So they have this kind of game, what was for them totally natural. Yeah, like you are in Papua and Ubi there, yeah, you have yeah. Yesterday the water, like this, was floating in the water, the water was here. You can see it from the stone, like uh, the maximum level is about 20 centimeter higher, 25 centimeter higher. So it doesn't get higher than that. A little watermark. Look, look here. That's where I got out one of the stones. Yes, that's from one of these stones we blew up right here. There's a monster stones that were sitting right here. This is the bedrock. It's yes, stones but here. this bedrock is broken because of all so the ice. You have these round stones, which are the nature stones. Uh, also Harane, he has thousands of people. Yes, yes. And I asked him for it, but I didn't get the answer so far, so it's like I leave it also. It was a little bit like... Harane. Pasi Harane. Pasi. He's a professional photographer, a good friend of us. But she's not answering. And they see what he is doing after. So at one point, they just couldn't handle him anymore. I wonder if this is part of the bedrock here. Yeah. Or if this is yeah. some kind of stone. Maybe I should dive off this rock into the swimming pool. <laughs> Picture, huh? When we go to Norway in 95? Hello, hello. Hi, man. Yes. Hi, buddy. Somewhere. Good man. Seaborn. <laughs> Seaborn. A long time. Actually, not a super long time. Super long time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because even last time I... Yeah, I don't know about it. Yeah, we got it. Well, how are you? How are you? Nita Michel. Yeah, I'm fine. fine. I mean, get tired. Tired, yeah, yeah you're busy. Yeah, tired. Busy, tired. No problem. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe. Can Simon. Simon, let's go. Oh, yes, absolutely. Very nice. I haven't gotten this one yet. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> to be removed after all the bodies that we dug up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so we make the joke. This is the most concise yeah. up to could make it. This is so a very hole. nice. I'm going to look through it. Yeah, yeah. Is it a no. Huh? And then, then there is Juha Yavana in an XL size. Okay, okay. <laughs> Which is nice because with the long one you can kind of fix the pump for a long time. Okay. So you need a no. high pressure? No. Yeah, but something. we need not only high pressure, yeah. we need because just water, water yeah. to run to do the job. And of course yeah. you can help and you with kind of the... One thing also that you need clean water. Oh, over kilo and all, all kinds of size. So much seems to just mold. What they've been building. Yeah. All this new construction. I heard All they wrapped 60s. it in a plastic yes, like much bag, less. more or less. Yeah. Now. Yeah, so we've been renting the holes. One time we rented so much holes, yes. we could put it all the oh, way down to the sea. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we had. Now we don't need this. all the holes from like the whole of Uusima. <laughs> all this rental, we had to use both rental companies. <laughs> and they had to like order it in, but then we had like 300 meters or something. Yes, we, yeah. look with, yes, we look in a minute. And down yeah. there. And we need one connector. And you need one connector. Just one that? connector. Yeah. No. Then we did this kind of connection just with simple plastic tubes and Wire. They can, oh, they can probably wires. put the connector on the hose for us. Uh, 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 
the fire brigades can only use their holes for a certain amount of time. So if you're lucky, you can get this kind of holes. And you can throw them by the side. Oh, there's already some boards here. This pump should be level, yes? It needs to be level. You okay, guys? So in the end we realize that this is a very good way of connecting the yeah, That we figure out uh, from Simon, uh, you know, what uh, we have to do. So I just throw it in. Eh? Yep. Yeah, and look, uh, people I was here to go to a couple of days ago, and I was here, there is like one left over there, but it's more, <laughs> oh yes, this is up to here, we have about 150 meters. Yeah, so, what is it? Uh, 20 meters more? Yeah, that should be enough, with the one I just saying. 170? Yeah. If we take 100 meters. How many meters you got that? So we'll let that maybe 20. So the, minim the minimum we need to get is what? That would be 650 euro if, if we buy. Yeah. Already 50 meter would be much. Okay. 50 meter wouldn't would be it be? It would be this side and that side. No, we write it down yeah. now. Okay. Yes. What was renting it? standing up there, this is where the family, other people were out here, there was no trees anywhere. And she was up there and the family was here and she was looking down to the family. And now there's these trees everywhere, look at these trees, too much. So we can try uh, with the pump to see if it is working and then on Monday, uh, tomorrow we get uh, the lead cool, the piping, uh, let's say 50 meters, so we can at least start, start to down. drain the water in the beginning. And then if we need more, because but maybe we don't have to take out so much water. We need just that we can walk to the beginning of the entrance. Or, mm -hmm. you know, if you have to stand up to your knees in the Three water. Four meters maybe. And that, that means that when the water goes down, we get, you, you, can, you can see now, because two years ago, again, much more material has been coming out from underneath than compared <laughs> to when you was here four years ago last time, Jim. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think in one and a half day, we have most out. As long as it doesn't start raining again. And then we just switch on the pump. Yeah. Wow, Ananto, yeah. look at you. Swamp. Yeah. What's the name of this in Finnish language? Tieni. Tieni, Tieni. Which one's yeah. going <laughs> to In the end, they have one mushroom. They have one mushroom that, that Marcus okay. was telling me yesterday. It's called uh, some kind of like maybe you have to anymore. take a chance, this a risk. Uh, looks Less like a anyone? Steinpilz, like a. Mm. But when you try it, it's getting. It's bitter. You probably didn't work much with pumps on your farm or something. No, uh, no, you have to install it in this uh, garden. Of yeah, it was quite dry, right, yes, too. Great. You could say this is the Temple of Boulder, and if we're finished, you say it's the Lemming County Temple. Yeah, it's not big always, how many hours in the end? It's like probably less than 100 hours. Uh, empty, very nice, very nice. Let's fill it up, and this is always right here. We had like that last time.
no, we uh, close fast. No, it, 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 It has been making in the history of the planet this like inside the country body to be like this. You cannot go down before. So then we have to get people with this machinery who can record the difference between the material what has been packed in and the bedrock that's underneath. And then with this kind of jackhammer, the stone will break off. It'll break off. Bullshit. Yes, yes. And the bedrock it will break. It break. And you go two, three meters deeper in that way. How many meters down was this? We, that we can't say anything for sure because that last measurement, what is made, also shows that from about the road level, all this mountain has one crack. So in theory, you can put some screw in the top of Kutlivori over this whole area where it is above the, the road. You put some screw in it and you lift it up yeah. and you can put it back. Uh -huh. What we are looking for is under that crack because deep down in the hole we are here on top of here and on this level there is one crack going through the whole mouth. And that makes that when you make reading from above up to the crack you read very clearly everything what's under the crack is full speculation. <laughs> it's it's the, crack, people. the possibility that there is over longer stretches open hollow space. It showed that possibility. We can see from the beginning when you are entering that Kukulivori it has one crack there coming down and it has one crack to, uh, of the side of the Eterstufa and at the bottom in the entrance these two join together and from there is one half round Thin quarter round line where you see the difference between the material above which is cupelly worried and the material what's packed in but that area I have not this rapaki so it looks like it's all bedrock but there is anyway this seam and this seam leads up to the ceiling just after the atmosphere it's going down quite well I mean, wow, we may not have to pump out, maybe in one day at all. Look, you can almost see underneath it. It's going really fast. Look, we start to come almost yeah. to the bottom of the sundial rock. Yeah, yeah, that, that's there. Yeah. And that's what I was saying, yeah, you can so almost you, resist a little bit. So yeah, there you see now uh, the, the big stone yes, yes, that yes. is coming there, which is, still has to go away, but we leave we'll it leave that out of last, security yeah, because that looks like it will right. we'll start to Actually, make the ship fall away off the road. Yeah. Too. But what is then coming under in that stretch, let's see what we can get away there on material and what we can show from the bottom of this ah, okay. The exhaust tube is so close, it's look hot. there. And then we came to three granite rectangular slabs. I'll sleep on a rock, it don't make me, I just need a blanket you know, and a pillow. I'm not going to use a rock for a pillow. Yeah. <laughs> for me, I don't mind. I read on the computer the other day before I come, I said, Helsinki weather. Okay, Google. 57 degrees and raining. I go, oh, fuck, I'm sitting in Hawaii. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking, oh shit, it's going to be cold and wet. And so I bring all this. And then you also need something to get the pump down. Yeah, down, so yeah, right. Also yeah. Like 10 meters on the side, yeah, so maybe 30, so 20 meters hole, yeah. yeah. maybe maximum 50, maximum 50, 50 meters. Yeah. Yeah.
hard just to live, so we're gonna get really stoned on this incredible weed. What's his name? Uh, Sirius. Sirius? Oh my goodness. Listen, oh how soft you are. Nobody loves you. <laughs> oh no, you just spoil it. Right? It's a lot more than it was six hours ago, I'll tell you what. Nothing's gonna happen if somebody doesn't do something. Every stone we take out of this place is one less stone we have to take out. Somebody else doesn't have to take out in the future. You know this Graham Hancock? Yeah. You know, him and some other people have this theory like 12,000 years ago there was some kind of comet that fucked up the planet. Yeah. They're all into this thing. But I don't remember anything in the saga talking like 12,000 years ago about anything that changed no, the planet. That, that is what they suspect that happened before, but they believe it to be in Canada, this cataclysm. And, well, yeah. And, and, and after they believe now that it is in Greenland. Well, they think it made a cloud of fucking dust that killed off all these different species from that time, like Mastodon and shit like that. That's what they're coming to. That, that, yeah, but there was uh, some kind of like cloud over the whole planet where everything... No, but there must have been happening different things. You can see from the nature that also North America has been having enormous reconstruction from the end of the ice time. But I don't know when was the end of the ice time in America. I don't know, it still is. No, I don't think that we have come to the end of the ice time. As long as there's ice on the planet, we're still yeah, in that, some kind yeah, of ice age. Sure, they must have a record of when the ice has gone away in the, in the, in the USA. Or whatever it is, or some kind of... Or or this kind of place, you know. Yeah, so, they, now they want to put it, this ice is three million and they've changed it just in the last few years. They don't want to put it back so much time anymore. So they don't think uh, in the area where we can know that it was on the same place, uh, was here in Scandinavia because uh, basically they had no reason to go, to go out before the ice was so low that they could go out. Or that it makes sense for them to go. Already the ice was gone here. Of course, you know, they was already uh, could go and uh, have a look in Gotland. Also in the, in, uh, under the ice time. But we know, for example, uh, that there is uh, today, we know that 900,000 years ago in England was living people. Who when was that? Uh, they find it from archaeological evidence. 900,000 years ago yeah. people were living in England? Yeah. Oh, I never, I'd like to get that link. I haven't seen anything like that. Oh, it's all internet is full of people. My wife, my wife. When we had some arguments, she wanted to move out, so she rented the house. <laughs> <laughs> she likes me restaurant in, in Berlin in, in Quidditzheim that has happy hour 11 out of 12 opening hours. <laughs> 11 uh, out of 12. They're open from 11 to 11. Happy, happy hour people. starts at 12. Very happy. It's, a happy trick. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick. Everything's a trick for you. Of course, in Prince, it's somebody good. In, 
theory we could even have been leaving it there, but then again, yeah. there's a little bit people stopping there quite often. White socks. I, I had to get them from. I had no socks, and Eric gave me these, which is good for the mosquitoes. I never wear socks. I have one pair of socks. I didn't bring them. But these mosquitoes, this is good. Where's the other shit? I got low fucking batteries. Eric had me. Yeah, a lot of nice people. Yeah, Finland's full of nice people. Well, we all miss you. We've been. We put, your name probably came up. I don't know. At least, at least once in the last ten days. <laughs> That's good, man. It's good to have We're all thinking about you. Good, man. You guys go clear out. See if those three stones are underneath there. It works and everything. How are the dogs doing? Okay. Yeah, the dogs are fine. It's good weather. Um, yeah, everything's cool, man. We're just holding down the fort. All right. I'd like to spend two or three months there if I can. And I think we can make some, some progress. Okay. Alright, I just sent you an email just yeah. 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. 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 I love you. I love you. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's a funny bird. He's gone. Yeah, yeah. They, so uh, when I was a kid, they give uh, the telephone company give you money for every one you bring in. Really? Okay. Yeah. This is the pirouette family, and here is basically in the painting is the the whole whole box art. But these people here, they're going to be the the new Bach family. No. I just no, our human beings. No, the new Bach family is not shown because here is shown the swan. The swan, yeah. Because she is next to the swan, and she has this most light on her, just like on Uko. Maya, and here is, but these uh, two people, these this family, who, what family are you talking about? The I mean, family of human beings. The family, okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. But put down in the form of one papa and mama with children. Right, right. Yeah. So it's quite Catholic. Mm. <laughs> but it was modern age already. Right? Yeah. And all these mythological figures, they were living in the story of the people of Finland and Karelia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, because we get the writing system introduced. This man, he was one of these products from this cast of people who could read and write. The saga to tell him the ingredients of uh, Bainamon mythology or in the mythological department. In the Kale, you can talk about Kalevala. He could take the Kalevala perspective but give him the correct information to make the painting in such a way that it become out as I think uh, one masterpiece symbolizing the story. Because all the characters are there and everything what's happening, there is the story of the Fulgia, there is the story of the, of the life water. But it's only when you know it. There is Rabi, Nar, Disa, Siedr, Tur, Tur, 